Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Eyes, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach, and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So we got a clip here. Um, it's a two-part where a daughter, and this is an adult. She's probably no older than maybe 20, maybe, 2021. 20, she, she sounds like a young adult as per the content of the conversation. So I'm just going to let you look at it. And then we're going to talk about what this really is. So I'm going to let it play. There's some language in it. So be aware of that. And here we go, basically. Mother. Yes, I did. I'm your yes, I did, because I'm not going to take it no more. I don't have to take this anymore. So what's more important to you? Your credit or your mother? I, should, should, not, I, I should, should have to choose. choose to make the I should not have to choose between the two. Well, you won't choose today. Because Who has to do this? Who you, has to even go to this thing? I'm sick of this stuff. You, you said the last time you wasn't going to do it again, and then here we are. And you know not to make it. Now, I wanted you to watch that because whether you think this is authentic or not, it is authentic. This is this is the really the reality of one hyena raising when they raise girls. So we talk a lot about the effect of the single mother raising the son, right? And all of the negative ways in which she impacts her son as a man, how she negatively carries relationship with her son, how many times it becomes inappropriate in certain ways, things of that nature. See, she don't do her daughter no better. And, that, and that's the part that I need people to really understand that a single mother, especially if she's a hyena as a single mother, she's not doing her daughters any favor either. She's not doing them. This is how, where you think hyenas learn it? Where you think they're getting it? This is not 
This is not given to them and passed down to them in love. Okay. Hyenaism is passed down through trauma. You got a trauma bond. That's how, that's why women, a lot of times hyenas only know how to trauma bond. They don't know how to really like each other or have real sisterhood that is devoid of bonding on trauma. They trauma bond because that's how they learn how to identify with one another, starting with how they identify and interact with their mothers and how their mothers carry and build the foundation of relationship with their daughters. It's a trauma bond. It's a, a control over them. It's a brainwashing. It's a guilt trip consistently. You see how she was guilt tripping her at the end. Now she's wrong, but then you see how she becomes the victim in all of it, how she now has to talk about how the father wasn't there and that's his fault, that you are doing a horrible job apparently of raising your children because a lot of times, more often than not, these single mothers do not prepare because they can't and they don't, and, and in a lot of times they don't want to prepare their sons or their daughters for independence away from them. They can't wait until the children get of age to work and things of that nature so that they can begin to drain the children for their resources. They don't want the young men to get jobs and, you know, become self-sufficient and so that he can move out of her house and become a, a you know, a self-sufficient young man and learn how to manage his life. He got to learn how to manage her life. And really it's the same with the daughters, especially when there are no sons. She makes the daughters fulfill that role. The daughters now have to be like pseudo men to her, right? So instead of becoming an incestuous, emotionally incestuous relationship, it becomes, uh, it's, it's, it's like we're peers because I need to, I need to modify how we relate to each other. But when I pull, when I, when I want to, I can pull a rank and still be your mom, right? When it suits me, when it benefits me to pull authority over you, to make you do what I want you to do, then I'm going to, then I'm going to do that. If the girl tries to have any form of independency, a lot of times these young girls trying to get up from under the thumb of the hyena, okay? Because she's draining them dry, right? She does, didn't teach them nothing about life. And then she guilt trips her about she got to help the family. When, ma'am, you need a husband, okay? You need a husband. So I don't need no man. Yes, you do. Because I'm certainly not the replacement. You can't make a boy a son husband. He's not really going to be the replacement. No matter what you do, that's going to fall apart. And the daughter, you're making her like a daughter roommate slash. It's a weird hybrid of things that single mothers morph their children into and mold their children into for their benefit. It does nothing for the child. Nothing. It is a complete detriment to their development. It's a, de it's a detriment to them moving successfully into adulthood, which is why a lot of times they repeat the generational curse. They're going to repeat it because girls will, if they can't do it through school or a job, they do it, they do it through a man. And what, when I say do it, I mean, they get away from their moms. If they can't manage to do it through school, if they can't manage to get out from under her through school or work, then they get out from under her with a man. So what they'll do is they'll go, they'll get a man and then they'll get pregnant, right? And then they'll get a baby. And then that starts qualifying them for various different governmental programs and blah, 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 blah. So now she's operating as an adult in society. And so she's able to get different benefits and blah, 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 blah on her own, in her own name. And so that achieves the temporary fix of getting her out of her mother's house. But along with that, she has repeated the generational curse of single motherhood, right? And once you do something once, it's easier to do it twice.
and it becomes easier and easier to repeat it. So she's probably going to have more than one child, right? In order to escape the trauma bond, in order to escape her current situation, she'll jump from the fire, frying pan into the fire, right? This is how the generational curse is repeated. She dooms her daughter, stops her. You don't think she knows what she's doing? If I utilize and mess up my daughter's credit, she's not going to be able to operate properly. You heard the girl say, I couldn't even get the student loans. And she tried to throw it up in the face. Well, I have made sure you go to college. She's like, yeah, but you effed it up. Because then I, then I couldn't really get the loans, right? Because you didn't help me like you hurt me. And so you did it before. And then you turn around, I fixed the mess. And then now I realize you did it again when I'm trying to maneuver. You don't think the mother knows that she's blocking her? She doesn't know. You don't think the mother knows the outcome of the action? Yes, she does. She absolutely understands the outcome. She understands what she's doing. She knows what it's going to be. And she don't care. Because when a girl was like, I want a house. Well, you can stay here. That's as good as she wanted because she want her to stay there to use her, to misuse her. While consistently pulling the authority of being her mom over her when when the girl expresses that wait a minute i'm an adult though and i actually don't even want to be here with you but you're making it to where it's nearly impossible for me to actually leave and be on my own so now i gotta spend more time to correct the problem so that i can get out of here and you're not really you're not going to do nothing but find another way to stop me from doing what i need to do all at the same time while I'm here, I can't get no peace. I can't get no peace with you because you argue. We butt heads all the time. You got something slick to say. I'm I'm fed up to hear with your shenanigans. So now I'm going to say something. Now I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something. So now when you talk slick, I got something slick to say. Now, you know, I'm your mom and you could, shouldn't talk to me like that, disrespect me like that. But you're disrespectful. Where did I get it from? Where did I get that from? You're completely disrespectful, not even just with your words, but with every action that you do, you're proving just how much you don't care nothing about me. And then these are the women that get surprised when uh, their children leave and don't have nothing to do with them. Now, the weird thing about it, the weird thing about the hyena clan is her daughter will go through this with her. Now, if she gets out from underneath her thumb and starts living her life by herself and on her own the way she wants to, she'll try to have a relationship with her mom. And a lot of times the young ladies will put on a facade of having forgiven their mom and it, as if they have now a working relationship with their mother, but really uh, they're just masking it. They really don't like their moms. And now, now they'll front to everybody else. Well, it's my mom. You know, I love her. And, you know, they'll still do things like confide in her about things. And it's almost like they don't learn the lesson. They don't learn the lesson. It's like they don't believe who their mother is that she showed them. They don't believe that she's that person. Now, all of a sudden, when they're not dealing with her directly in that particular type of situation and the dynamics change, they think that she changed and she didn't. She's still the same untrustworthy, unloyal, disloyal hyena that you were trying to get away from. She's the same thing. She just can't use you in the same way. So now the situation, the tension between you two is a little bit more calm, but that doesn't mean she's a better person. And that you're going to pick up her traits. You're going to still allow her to sabotage your life because you're going to get in relationships. And, and then you're going to think that your mother is in your corner. Really, a lot of times your mother is your ops. She your main hater. Your main hater be your mom. Especially if she was a hyena. Your main hater going to be your mom. If your mother was a hyena, she a hater. It just is what it is. Your mother going to have to be a lioness for you not to have had that type of dynamic with her. Or she at least again had, had some type of sense. She took her, her shenanigans elsewhere like she didn't do them with you. Something. But this is what we're talking about. 
This is this is why you need dads and fathers. These women do a horrible job of raising these children. They do a horrible job. She's doing everything she can to make sure that girl is not a fit adult for society. And that she had problems relating to other people. Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you have not, once again, I'm your hostess, The Crimson Cure. And this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.